Señor, buen día.
the Ark Society. One of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Did you not see this coming? My God, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all, our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take... No. There is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, madam. Here's to loyalty. confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Carbom, 
Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing. Having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington. Two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right. Change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. 